35th District Representative, Dan Griffey. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Thanks for coming on and being with us here. A new uh, updated time for you to be on the air with us weekly. Uh, there has been some, uh, uh, well, you work on the committees and then Recently, you were just you're part of the new committee, right? You're just telling me this. Yeah, no, I was uh, same committee. I'm d now the ranking member on the committee, so I from the minority side, uh -huh. I run that committee. Okay, so that is uh, so you're on the local government committee, also the early learning and human services committee, and public safety, and public safety. So very busy in uh, the state house and the legislature. We were talking with Senator Sheldon yesterday about the. Uh, the uh, Senate's education funding bill that was voted off of the Senate floor and now moves over to the House side. And how are you feeling about this? What Have you had a chance to look over it or hear more about what things were in it? Yeah, so I, I haven't digested the entire package, but uh, there are some problems in there that are going to need to be fixed. Okay. Um, most of the schools I represent would see a cut in the total revenue that they get from the state. And um, we can't see that happen. And I think the Senate's ideas will backfill that as soon as we get the revenue forecast with new dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so the the idea behind it I've talked to you about on this show before is that they did the local levy cap and local levy shift. So yeah. um, I, I'm thinking that that is going to be one of the McClary fixes. Um, is it going to be in the Senate's format? Probably not. There's going to be a lot of people uh, that it's going to change uh, what's in there and um, hopefully make it better. Some of the things that I had heard f from some of the folks talking about this bill is that they were concerned about it creating loser loser districts where not only would the funding sources be less than what they're normal what they have traditionally been getting but then property taxes would also then go up to cover the rest of how it would all kind of come into line have you heard that argument there there is an argument going around we we're going to have to figure out how how we're going to pay for it sure and uh, we believe and obviously senate believes as well that um if this is going to be the paramount duty of washington state then we should have a capped levy it should be the same levy that everybody pays um across the entire state I don't believe in the final uh, product there will be any loser schools. Right. I believe all schools will see a cash infusion. You, wouldn't, you won't be going backwards, if you will. Um, it's important for the Senate to have passed their bill right now to show a sign that they're serious, yeah. right? So they passed it. Now it's on to us to let us do some uh, tweaks to it and see what we can get out. Um, but there is, there is quite a lot of... Uh, uh, concerns from the other side of the aisle about it they they would really rather do a very large revenue package yeah. uh, carbon tax and income tax uh, uh, you know capital gains tax of course lots of taxes I guess um, to pay for it and uh, this is an attempt to do it without having a major uh, tax shift so are you encouraged that uh, it was voted out and it's in the Senate now and we're we're just about 30 days into this 105 day session the pace of progress that's going on oh absolutely i am glad that both sides now kind of have a working product yeah um we haven't seen one on the house floor yet the only thing we pe we worked on was the levy cliff aspect but levy cliff was addressed in the senate proposal so uh, yeah i believe that uh, it's a really good thing that 30 days in to session that we're or less than 30 days into session we have two major plans that we can now start negotiating on yeah that is good high hopes that we'll get done in 105 w days wouldn't that be <laughs> something yeah what else uh, what else are you working on uh either in your committees or or through uh constituent requests so uh statute of, uh, statute of limitations bill is still moving mm -hmm. it's now on to appropriations uh it has a minor fiscal impact so it has to go through the appropriations committee okay um then it's on to the senate so we're going to be coming up really quick on um, bill cutoff, yeah. and uh, that means we're going to be on the floor passing our bills, trying to get them to the Senate, and the Senate's going to be doing the same thing. And then we start all over again, yeah. where we start listening to Senate bills in committees. Um, but it's exciting times, and, and our bills are all moving. The 
the bill that I'm working on for Mason County Department of Health is also moving. Uh, it, for your member to remind the listeners, it was uh, less, allowing the marijuana dispensaries yeah, to, yeah. to hand out uh, lock boxes uh, to try to keep uh, kids safe from uh, ingestion of those products. So yeah, we're pretty happy. I'm testifying on a bill probably. Uh, th- three times uh, a week now, so that means my bills are moving, and yeah. I really like that. That's great. Yeah. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, the state, including the governor and the attorney general, and I believe uh, former gubernatorial candidate Rob McKenna were all standing up and kind of with some pushback on these executive orders by the president. Do you have any thoughts on these executive orders or how they would impact the state or the district? W- I don't know that the state's going to be impacted by any of them, mm-hmm. except that there's a, there's a lot of people that are frustrated and pulling their hair out. And, you know, I, I just I think it's time that we kind of back off a little bit. We we let happen what's going to happen for the most part. And, uh, you know, don't get too worked up. We'll see how it happens. I think the f- the pit, the pace at which they're coming out is a little hard for people to take. It is fast. It's Seems really like fast. There's a lot of things going on quickly. But it is kind of refreshing. He said he was going to do it, and he's doing every one of them. Uh-huh. Hey, that's kind of different when it comes to uh, our president. Sure. So that's exciting. Um, but, you know, the pace is going to make some feel troubled, and uh, I just hope that uh, they get over their anxiety. Uh, it's no good to feel so awful. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, 35th District Representative Dan Griffey, uh, thank you so much for coming in. Do you know you have access to the fastest internet in Washington State? Switch to iFiber Communications right now and take advantage of our special offers. Pay only $29.95 for 100 megabit high-speed internet or get three months of internet absolutely free. That's right, $29.95 for 100 megabit speeds or three months of internet free. Shop, stream, and game like never before with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Call 360-427-4000 or check us online at iFiber.tv. Subject to credit approval, valid on a 24-month contract. 